Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 44 of 2017, appointing Under Secretary and Assistant Under Secretaries in the Ministry of Education. The Royal Decree appointed Dr. Fawzi Abdurrahman al Jowdar as the Ministry's Under Secretary for Educational and Curricular Affairs, Dr. Sheikha Yusuf Al Jeeb as Assistant Under Secretary for Educational Services and Student Activities, Dr. Kothar Rashid Abdel Al Maouda as Assistant Under Secretary for Human Resources, Jafar Ali Al Sheikh Hassan Al Sitri as Assistant Under Secretary for private and continuous education and Khalid Mohammed Gharib Al Gharib as assistant under secretary for financial resources and services. After crediting the draft law of the State's General Budget for fiscal years 2017-2018 by the Shura Council, following the approval of the Representatives Council, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa condemned, commended the Council's cooperation and consultation between the executive and legislative authorities, which contributed in enriching the components of the new budget despite economic challenges. He asserted that they focus on preserving citizens' rights and providing support to those with middle and limited income, affirming that cooperation cooperation between the two authorities will further expand in the coming period, especially in policies and measures related to financial matters. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiyya Palace members of the royal family, state officials, a number of intellectual and cultural figures, businessmen and citizens, where they discussed local and foreign affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed his trust in the regional country's leaders in preserving security and stability and in dealing with terrorism that targets their country's security, warning that terrorism hinders development. He stated that Bahrain supports development and counters terrorism and called for regional countries to unite in combating terrorism to protect their achievements and take a firm stance against it. His Royal Highness hailed the national stances of the people of Bahrain, commending the role of national journalism in influencing the public opinion for national interest. The Prime Minister asserted that the government is keen on following up to developmental projects and that challenges will not hinder the government's duty of providing the best services to its citizens, noting the urban development the Kingdom witnesses and the developed real estate projects. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the keenness of the people of Bahrain in preserving the security and stability of their country in the midst of regional developments and events, stressing the importance of maintaining national unity and solidarity between the people of the community, who represent a key element in preserving national achievements. He praised the role of journalism, journalism and writers in developing the national sentiment, noting that Bahraini journalism will always be a platform for raising awareness and expressing the concerns of citizens. The guest lauded the image of solidarity and communication between the leaders and citizens reflected in His Royal Highness's meeting, hailing his directives and keenness and interacting with the issues of citizen, that citizens raise.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dubai Palace the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, who updated His Royal Highness about the progress of work on a number of road and infrastructure development projects. Among the projects was the development of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman and Sheikh Isa bin Salman roads. The design of the project is expected to be completed by the fourth quarter of this year. The Prime Minister directed the implement a number of developmental projects aimed at providing services to citizens and enhancing infrastructure. He directed to build a bridge to connect the junction of Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman and Sheikh Isa bin Salman roads to reduce traffic congestion for drivers heading from Manama to Isa town and other areas instead of taking the current exit from Khalifa bin Salman road to Isa town. His Royal Highness also directed to implement the second phase of developing Al Jasra Junction, which will ease traffic congestion for drivers coming from Manoma to Janabiya and Budaya villages and other cities. The Prime Minister also directed to issue the long term care facility for people with chronic diseases in Amharag for a tender. He also directed to develop the old markets of Amharag by establishing a commercial building with a traditional architectural design in the same site where the market burned down. The project is expected to be completed by December 2018. His Royal Highness was briefed about the long-term care facility for people with chronic diseases in Amharag, which is part of a medical center complex located at the maternity hospital in Amharag. The complex also includes a maternity hospital, a center for people with MS, and a nursing home. The Minister of Works affirmed that the ministry is working on preparing all the documents needed to issue the project for a tender, which is being funded by the Saudi Fund for Development, at the cost of 13.78 million dinars. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of the speedy implementing of the projects, which will meet the needs of the citizens. He also stressed the importance of maintaining high-quality workmanship. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness on implementing various developmental projects throughout the kingdom to enhance educational, health, housing and traffic services. He commended the efforts of the Ministry of Works in executing the various projects of the government for his part. The Works Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's wise directives. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dubai Palace the newly appointed head of Court of Cassation, Supreme Judicial Council Deputy President Chancellor Abdel Al Bayanain, Quarter of Cassation Under Secretary Judge Chancellor Masoum Abdel Rasul, President of Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission Chancellor Nawaf Abdullah, and Vice President of the Commission Chancellor Mohammed Mujbil. His Royal Highness congratulated them on the royal confidence to perform their role in serving their country, commending their expertise and efficiency in the legal and legislative fields, wishing them continued success. He commended the reputation and integrity of Bahrain's judiciary, which is known in the Gulf, Arab and international levels. He added reinforcing justice and sovereignty of law is what Bahrain calls for, a state of institution and law under the guidance of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised His Majesty's keenness to upgrade the judicial system and reinforce its independence through adopting ambitious strategies to modernize and develop it in addition to providing necessary training for its staff. He expressed appreciation and pride in the efforts of the people in the judicial institution, urging for more to be made to deal with any delay so as to facilitate all procedures for the citizens. He expressed pride in the accomplishments of the judicial authority in establishing the pillars for justice and rule of law, which have been a guarantee for security and stability and supported its development and growth. For their part, the audience thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support and encouragement to national co competencies, commending the advancement of the judicial system in Bahrain, which reflects a bright vision to reinforce its role in preserving rights and freedoms.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghaibia Palace today National Institution for Human Rights Chairman Saeed bin Mohammed Al Fihani and Board of Commissioners members on their occasion of their appointment by royal decree. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has provided all the constitutional and judicial guarantees ensuring the protection of human rights of freedoms, which reflects its firm belief that human rights is an integral part of the Islamic culture and identity. His Royal Highness expressed his pride in the progress made in the Human Rights March in Bahrain, which guarantees the individual and society equal rights to life, dignity and security, noting the continuous national efforts to establish and protect human rights principles. His Royal Highness stressed that the respect and protection of human rights embody a comprehensive approach that contributed to the development of the Kingdom. He also noted that security and stability are the foundations of preserving the developmental and civilization of societies. His Royal Highness and the Premier congratulated the Commission on their appointment wishing them success in carrying out their noble duties. He also noted that the role of the NIHR in raising the awareness of the culture of respect for human rights and creating policies related to its promotion. For his part, the chairman of NIHR expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous directives to further develop the institution and its achievements to enhance the kingdom's status at both the regional and international levels. He highlighted Bahrain's record of honorable human rights achievements thanks to the wise vision of its wise leadership in promoting respect for human rights in accordance with international human rights standards. Personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the qualification of rider Hamad Janahi to the World Endurance Championships for Junior and Youth Riders in 2017 in Italy, after achieving first place in the French Argenton 130km race, affirming the Royal Team's march towards further making further achievements in international races. His Highness added that the administrative and technical bodies of the team have set a plan for its participation in many European championships, noting that the team's determination represents a key element in its achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the team achieved the goals it had set for the participation in the Argentine race, noting that it had also benefited from the participation and expressing pleasure in Ryder Genohi's performance. His Highness also congratulated Ryder Mohammed Al Muqtad for winning third place and Ryder Mohammed Abdul Samad for winning fifth place. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, chaired today the Shura Council session in which they accredited the draft law of the state's general budget for fiscal years 2017 to 2018 based on the consensus reached by the legislative authority and the government in this regard. The council approved draft laws ratifying the Convention on Compensation for damage to third parties resulting from acts of unlawful interference involving aircraft and another one approving Bahrain's accession to the Convention on the Suppression of Unlawful Acts Relating to International Civil Aviation. They also approved ratifying Convention on Compensation for Damage Caused by Aircraft to Third Parties and another draft law on Bahrain's accession to the Supplementary Protocol to the Convention for the Suppression of Unlawful Seizure of Aircraft. The Council also approved the amendments of decree by Law No. 15 for the year 1986 regarding tourism organization. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiva Abdul Ghaffar. 
Bahrain Ocean Share Index closed today at 1,314.09 points, marking a decrease of 3.30 points above the previous closing. The decrease was due to a fall in the commercial bank sector, in which investors mainly traded, representing 62% of the total value of traded shares. 60 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,739,214, worth 322,585 Bahraini dinars. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayed Al Zayani received today the U.S. Bahrain Business Council's Executive Director, Jennifer Meal. They discussed the long-standing bilateral ties, especially in the business and economic fields, citing the persistent efforts by both nations' governments to develop and boost ties to fulfill their leaders' aspirations. Assistant Under Secretary for External Trade, Iman Al Dusari, and the Director of Foreign Trade Relations, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, attended the meeting.